Hi, this is Emily with Energy Sage. I'm a researcher here to help you learn more about clean energy. You may already know that electric vehicles or EVs offer some benefits over traditional gas-powered vehicles. They have a lower carbon footprint, don't produce emissions, and often cost less to fuel. But did you know it's possible to use an EV to power campsites, other EVs, your home, and even the electric grid? Bidirectional charging is a special type of EV charging only available in a handful of EVs that allows electricity to flow both to your EV's battery and out of it. There are four different types of bidirectional EV charging. Vehicle to load or V to L charging is the simplest form of bidirectional charging and is already available in over a dozen EVs, including some from GM, Hyundai, and Kia. It enables your EV to directly power devices like outdoor lights, a fan, or an electric kettle. With vehicle to vehicle or V to V charging, you can use your car's battery to charge other EVs. Only a few EVs offer this right now, like the Ford F-150 Lightning and Hummer EV Pickup, but it could help with range anxiety in the future. The batteries in EVs are much larger than most home battery setups. So it makes sense that so many homeowners are excited about vehicle to home or V to H charging. With V to H, you can provide power to your home, helping you avoid blackouts or avoid paying peak pricing to your utility company. Finally, vehicle to grid or V to G is the most complicated type of bidirectional charging. With this setup, you can use the energy in your EV's battery to provide power to the grid when it's stressed. In exchange, you should be able to receive compensation through a demand response program, though very few utility companies offer this for EVs right now. Both V to H and V to G aren't widely available yet, though cars like the Ford F-150 Lightning and Nissan Leaf support these types of bidirectional charging. They typically require an interconnection agreement with your utility company, similar to home solar panel system or battery storage. But some utilities have regulatory barriers that make this difficult. Bidirectional EV chargers that enable V to H and V to G are also still quite limited and expensive to install. And only a couple of EVs have the hardware, software, and warranties necessary to support V to H and V to G charging. As more homeowners understand and get excited about bidirectional EV charging, we expect more cars and chargers to become available at lower prices. This will also help encourage the industry to adopt standards and regulations that make EV interconnection faster. To learn more about electric vehicles and EV charging, visit energysage.com. Thanks for watching.